Dan LaCour still holds on. These are pictures of Barb. Holds on to the last two photos ever taken of his sister Barb before she and her husband Mike Jimenez were murdered trying to hitchhike home to Mankato in April 1974. Well, nobody should have to go through what my sister went through. And just an animal. Dan holds on to the pain of sitting through two trials, one for each victim, and seeing Edward Clark convicted twice of first-degree murder. He claims he's never done it. He's no remorse whatsoever. And that's what gets me. You'd think by now he would have said something, but... Clark admits picking up the couple as he drove cross-country, but he's always claimed his innocence, even writing a book from prison, despite police linking the murder weapon to him and finding several of his belongings at the crime scene. Mike was shot in the back of the head, Barb stripped nude and strangled with her own hair. Now at 80 years old, in poor health and eligible for parole, Clark will argue for his release. Tears you up, brings up the old memories again. You know, when everything's brought up, what he did, how he did it. After the hearing, the decision whether to free Edward Clark will be made by one man, the Commissioner of Corrections, Paul Schnell. So what do you hope happens tomorrow? I hope he stays in jail. Take a life, you pay with your own the way I look at it. Dan and his family believe a life sentence should mean a life sentence, and they hold on, hoping the commissioner sees it the same way. Lou Raguse, CARE 11 News.